How would light get refracted through a transparent prism? Consider a triangular glass prism. It has three rectangular lateral surfaces and two triangular surfaces. These surfaces are inclined to each other. The angle between its two lateral faces is called the angle of the prism. Let us now do an activity to study the refraction of light through a triangular glass prism. Fix a sheet of paper on a drawing board. Place a glass prism on it in such a way that it rests on its triangular base. Trace the outline of the prism using a pencil. Name each corner as A, B, and C. Draw a straight line PE inclined to one of the refracting surfaces, say AB, of the prism. Fix two pins, say at points P and Q, on the line PE as shown in. Look for the images of the pins, fixed at P and Q, through the other face AC. Fix two more pins, at points R and S, such that the pins at R and S and the images of the pins at P and Q lie on the same straight line. Remove the pins and the glass prism. The line PE meets the boundary of the prism at point E. Join E and F. Similarly, join and produce the points R and S. Let these lines meet the boundary of the prism at E and F, respectively. Draw perpendiculars to the refracting surfaces AB and AC of the prism at points E and F, respectively. Mark the angle of incidence, angle I, the angle of refraction, angle R, and the angle of emergence, angle E. Here PE is the incident ray, EF is the refracted ray and FS is the emergent ray. You may note that a ray of light is entering from air to glass at the first surface AB. The light ray on refraction has bent towards the normal. At the second surface AC, the light ray has entered from glass to air. Hence it has bent away from normal. Compare the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction at each refracting surface of the prism. Is this similar to the kind of bending that occurs in a glass slab? The peculiar shape of the prism makes the emergent ray bend at an angle to the direction of the incident ray. This angle is called the angle of deviation. In this case angle D is the angle of deviation.